hello everyone right now I will show you how to add some a uh, new map on your web page and do seeding uh, for specific maps so uh, if the source down we still can access the map using cheats which is which are prepared before first install your your web page on your server like usual I have installed my Geo Web page on my cloud. This is the configuration file. To add new map, you can add you can edit the configuration file here. So I just need to edit it like this. Okay, and then uh, actually for some easy example, you only need to copy and paste this WMS layer tag like that and then change the name of WMS layer okay maybe I will give it name uh, population density And then you must search the WMS URL for the specific map. Uh, I will try to use a WMS provided by uh, Socioeconomic Data and Application Center (SIDEC). And the URL is this: http sidec.cin.colombia.edu go server WMS. Okay, like that change the old one like that and forget to change the WMS layers to ones that we want to uh, see and apply in our map like this Okay, if you want to see the anthropogenic biomass, you can uh, change the layers to anthropogenic, anthropogenic, anthropogenic biomass world version one, etc., etc. So actually, uh, using same VMS URL, you can ch choose specific layer you want to see, you want to use by change the layer option right here and then save the configuration access your dashboard and then reload configuration and then you will see the new layer name here after that sorry for uh, my server for slow respond because its result is not so big some we need to be patient okay it's quite slow okay okay you can see here there is layer name population density you can see the map by clicking one of this option I just give you can see right here I can uh, zoom it zoom out zoom out again like that if we want to do changing for this map we just need to set this layer so the server will download the map first and save it in the directory I don't know which uh, directory uh, in the directory in here in the local storage you can see uh, zoom start and zoom stop to be changed so uh, in the default you will see the zoom zero like he like this and if you zoom in uh, one time 
you will get closer map and so on so you need to select the zoom stop in order uh, restrict the changing process in this example I will show you how to changing the map from 0 zoom until 15 zoom using 10 tasks and then click submit uh, you can see right here the estimated tiles which is which are will be downloaded by server is so big it's 2 million tiles so it will be so long to finish but no problem just refresh the list okay it needs almost one year to finish so I just will kill all the tasks and then reduce the zoom stop maybe to 4 and then submit again okay only Seven hundred, so I will kill it again. I think it's too small. Maybe about eight zoom. Okay, kill again. Sorry, because I used too little task. Eight, then submit again. Okay, the number of tiles is quite. Uh, small it just about one hundred thousand and sixty thousand sixty seven thousand and three hundred and four so let's refresh it okay actually it's quite long to wait it complete but no problem I think it's okay let's kill it again maybe we can reduce it to 6 zoom out okay I think it's quite reasonable and feasible for me to show you You can see in the if dot that the server actually is fetching the map. One here, proceed web position that Columbia that I do. So actually, the web and the server is uh, fetching the map, so it can catching the map in order to reduce the bandwidth for show for surfing the surface for us press again it won't be so long I think maybe about two minutes okay the benefit using changing is actually first reducing your bandwidth second is faster uh, processing because the server won't don't need to fetch every time so it just need to select which style to shown to be shown for us and etc but actually the disadvantage from your web page is the seeding process is defined by user so it's not a cron job or automat automatical job which is which is done and uh, executed when there is some change on the source so we must do the changing by ourselves okay the changing is complete okay let's refresh it 
let's see you can see here the population density is the new layer and then here is the zoom uh, changing of zoom layer you can see there is zero zoom one zoom twice zoom three zooming four zooming fifth zooming and six zooming you can try to see what is on the directory and actually it's a gif file oh no it's png ah oh, okay i've okay it's my mistake that choose png for the output so to make faster processing right now i'm using gif Okay, uh, for comparison, I will use uh, JPEG and uh, I will use PNG from Chaching, which one is faster. I will show you which the this one is using JPEG and this one is using PNG. You can see the JPEG is slow enough and the PNG is faster. Zooming. Okay, the PNG already shown. Okay, maybe it's better for you to show it like this zoom zoom okay zoom zoom okay you can see the differences it's quite uh, different so teaching is actually beneficial for us so if you want to reduce the time of uh, processing and your bandwidth I propose to do chaching before you serve your service to public maybe that's all for uh, today's tutorial maybe we need maybe we can meet in the another tutorial don't forget to like comment and subscribe I so open for a request video on the anything topic that related to it so then please feel free to contact me or request on me thank you